I'm Jenna. And I'm Grace, and today is Tuesday, May 6th, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 30th anniversary. Please rise respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The North Art Show Silent Auction is two days away. Bring your parents and friends. The art show will be held in the gym from 5 to 7 on Thursday, May 8th. All proceeds from the silent auction support the North Art Department. Come out and support your North Artist. Now to some great books from Ms. Gardner. Good morning, everyone. All right, this will be our last video of the year. All the books are due back on the 14th. You need to get your fines paid. So I have three kind of quick reads that you might be able to get through in the next couple of weeks. The first one is called Fake ID by Walter Sorrells. It is the first in a series. It's a mystery, kind of a forensic science book. It's about a girl and her mom who are on the run. Um, she's always, she doesn't really know her real name. She's always changing names, moving towns. And then at one of these towns, her mom disappears. And when she disappears, a cat has to, or Chas has to try to find her in about six days before she goes to foster care. And so it kind of gets to be this mystery. It's kind of a thriller, um, but it's a really good, good one if you like something like that. First of three, I believe. Fake ID. All right, hold that one. All right, this is Beneath a Meth Moon. This is about Laurel, who whose mom and grandmother, I believe, are lost in Hurricane Katrina. And so it's kind of set a little bit uh, a few years back. But she, pretty soon her life gets back together. She's a cheerleader. She's dating a boy on the basketball team. And he introduces her to what's known as Moon, which is also known as meth. And so she gets addicted to meth, and she tries to pull her life together. She's trying to get out of the grips of meth. Um, it's a very nice, nice, brutal kind of, those of you who read Crash or um, any of those, those might like this, but it is about drugs and kind of her trying to pull out of that grip of meth. So, so there you go, there's that one, Beneath the Meth Moon, and you put that down if you want. Oh, or not, Kitty can pull them. This one is, if you like A Fault in Our Stars, this is by the same author, John Green. It's called An Abundance of Catherine's. Colin, he's kind of this little genius. And he's always dated girls named Catherine, 19 of them to be exact, and they dump him every time. So for some reason, he just keeps dating these Catherines, meeting them, dating them, and they dump him. So he decides to go on this road trip with one of his buddies. Um, he meets some really weird people around uh, along the way, and he's trying to figure out why these Catherines have a grip on him, and if he can get out of that grip with these Catherines. So it's actually a comedy. It's kind of an odd, bizarre. It has a little bit of math in it. He's kind of a math genius. So he tries to build this formula around why he dates these girls named Catherine. So this is John Green of Abundance of Catherine's. So those are the three that I have for you today. Like I said, 14th is the day. Your book day is on the 16th, so you want to get everything taken care of. Come up and grab those. We'll have those out on display for you. All right, that's it. Happy week. A friendly reminder from the letter and committee. All 7th, 8th, and 9th graders interested in earning the letter N, bar N, or star N award should plan to have their letter N forms turned in to Mr. Porter or his mailbox in the office by Friday, May 9th. Remember, the letter N is a fantastic resume builder and it's North's way of recognizing students who participate in sports, academics, and school activities. To earn any of these awards, students need to pick up a letter N form from their math teachers and complete the form by assembling the required documents by May 9th. Students who turn in their paperwork will be honored at the end of the year awards assembly. Letter M forms due this Friday. That was funny. Do you love robotics? <laughs> Does playing with Legos and learning to program your Legos to move, sing, and speak sound like a fun way to spend your summer? If so, the 2014 Robotics Summer Camp is for you. The camp is June 9th through the 27th, Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. until noon at Boise State University. University, and it's for anybody between grades 4 to 9. If you are interested in attending the summer camp, please pick up a flyer from the office or from Mr. Armstrong in room 108. Congratulations to the winners of the Idaho Junior Stamp Art Contest. Best of the show winners in first place, Haley L. First place winners, Olivia H. and T 
Taya B. Second place winners are Quincy L. and Alec M. Third place winners are Lydia H. and Ava A. Outstanding job representing the North Art Department. Good job. 10th and 9th graders, if you are interested in trying out for the Boise High Elite Choir programs, see Mr. Ray in room 219. Audition forms are due Thursday, May 8th. Book club meeting is there, book club is having a meeting. Yep, we are meeting on Wednesday during lunch in the library. Feel free to bring your lunch, and we have an awesome new and short book for everyone. See you at lunch on Wednesday. All 8th grade boys, there's a mandatory meeting for you in the gym after lunch this Friday from 11.40 to 11.55. Make sure you go eat your lunch first, but then you must check into the gym for this mandatory meeting. Remind your buddies. All 9th grade boys, there's a mandatory meeting for you in the gym starting at 12.25 this Friday. Please go eat your lunch and then make your way to the gym for this meeting. Attention all 7th and 8th grade singers. This week are the auditions for the next year's new Nuances Chamber Choir. Audition slots are filling up fast, so make sure you get signed up today. Information packets and the sign-up sheets are posted on Mr. Ray's choir room door. And now to Will with sports. Good morning, North. I'm Will, and here's all your Viking sports news. Attention North track athletes. Please return your uniforms to Mr. Mailer before Wednesday so you don't get a fine slip. Also, if we want to achieve our goal of having new uniforms by next year, we need you to get your donation papers into Mr. Miller as soon as possible. Thank you to the athletes who have done this. If you need a new donation paper, please come see Mr. Miller in his office ASAP. If you want a regional ribbon but did not receive it yet, please stop by Mr. Miller's office to receive it. And out of Braden with weather. Morning Vikings, today is breezy with a 30% chance of rain and a high of 64. Tomorrow is more sunny and breezy with a high of 67 and a low of 41. Thursday is sunny with a high of 68 and a low of 41. That's all for today. Now back to Jenny Grayson. Peace. Peace. Lunch choices today in the specialty line are super nachos, soft taco, and refried beans, and grilled chicken Caesar wrap, and chick crispy chicken sandwich, mini corn dog, and baked beans in the classic line. Happy birthday today to Stephen Weiner, Alana Heiner, and Ashlyn Palmer. That's all your announcements for today, North, and enjoy your Tuesday.